I am entering my third week here in Malaysia and I'm currently in one of Malaysia's beautiful islands, Pulau Redang. We are spoiled for chores when it comes to choosing an island to visit. So we made several different change of plans before we finally decided on Redang. Honest, I was skeptical not because I didn't like Redang but because of the hassle to get here. A lot of things weren't exactly what I would say ideal. You see, getting on a plane to Langkawi is straightforward. You get on a plane and you're there. Driving up to Penang is also very simple. Four hours drive and you're there. Even a trip down islands in Johor. We've actually been to Cebu Islands and Batu Batu. It's so beautiful. Or Pulau Rawa. I actually really wanted to go to Pulau Rawa but it's also a long drive. Out of the blue, my husband said, let's go to Redang. We've been here many years ago, but not on this side of the island. We looked at flights and boats and accommodations, and I was very reluctant. The flight is too early, the ferry is so long. Complain, complain, complain. Huffing and puffing through the way, I couldn't decide. And the next thing I did was give my husband a heavy, okay, we've done it before, we'll do it again. God knows how we get all of us on that 7.15 flight to catch the 10 a.m. ferry that will take us to Redang. I had only one thing on my mind, we will make it happen. I am Juliana Ibrahim, Malaysian in the Netherlands. I'm back in Malaysia, which means Malaysian content for all of you. Like my videos, click on the like button, comment, share and subscribe. Every bit of that journey was worth the effort we made to get here. It has been a while since we made journeys like this. And when I see the children brave adventures like this, I can't help but be with pride. They say it's not about the destination, it's the journey that matters. And in this case, we have it both. More of Redang in my next vlog. Thank you for watching and see you next week.